Everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm currently remodeling this fireplace in our living room. The original old-fashioned mantelpiece has been removed, as the wall where the fireplace is located is very high. So I'm planning to rebuild and raise the mantel, as well as to add the fireplace surround. Now I got a little problem. There are four air vents for this fireplace. The switch on the right side wall is too close to the fireplace. There is not much space available for the surround. So I need to move the switch to the right at least 3 or 4 inches. This is the first time for me to move an electrical outlet. So I want to take this opportunity and share with you guys how to properly relocate an electrical outlet or switch for a beginner. Including removing the old outlet box and uh, reinstalling a new box in the new location as well as how to cut and fill the drywall properly I went to a nearby Home Depot to buy a new outlet box There are many types of outlet boxes on the shelf The one I'm looking for is one gang If you don't know what you look for you can take a picture of the old switch at home and show the clerk in store and let him to help you find it this is the one I'm looking for. Whenever dealing with the new project for the first time, I always ask the store clerk in that area when I buy tools and the materials. All the clerks in store have been trained for the relevant knowledge of the area they are working for. You, what do you, I do? You cut your hole in the wall, put that in, and then when you screw these, screw these things, they come behind the, the, behind the sheetrock to hold it in place. Yeah, you don't have to open it. Because when you screw it, it'll open up. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. It is so much easier to understand the process when the clerk holds the product face-to-face -face showing you how to assemble and operate it. I mean, I do watch the tutorials on YouTube all the time. But having someone holding the specific product and showing you how to do with it, it just makes the learning process so much easier and faster. This device is actually very simple. Basically, you make a hole in the wall according to the size of the outlet box, put the box in, and then use a screwdriver to tighten the upper and the lower screws. As you tighten the screws, the small chips will stand up and tighten behind the wall to secure the box to the wall. Before getting my hands on any electronics on the wall, I need to go to the main breaker and turn off the power to the living room. Now I need to determine the location of the new switch. I'm using the stat finder to locate the stat behind the wall. The new outlet box cannot be installed in front of the stat. So when deciding the location for the new outlet, make sure to avoid the studs behind the wall. Place the new outlet box on the wall and draw the outline with a pencil. Then use a level to make sure the height of the new switch is aligned with the circuit next to it. After that, use a thicker drill bit to drill a hole in the corner and then run a screw in the middle. This can be used as a handle to pull the cutout piece later, otherwise it will fall into the wall. Next, start from the drilled hole with a small drywall saw. Cut all four sides along the outline, and then pull it off the wall.
The power is turned off, but before I ever touch the wire, I always use a voltage tester pin for the double security. After unscrew the old switch, if you don't know anything about the electrical work, and can't tell the difference between the hot wire, the neutral wire, and the ground wire, then don't rush to remove all the wires first. I always use my phone to take a photo of the original position of the wires, and when the new switch is replaced, the wires should be installed in the same position, and that way there will be no mistakes. After the wires are removed, there is a screw inside the old box. Unscrew it, and then take the box out. You can see the back of it. It's also fixed to the wall with two chips. Next, push in the pocket and get the wire into the new box. Place the box into the wall, tighten the screws to fix it. And then install all the wires in the same way as the original installation mode of the old box. As the electrical installation requirements in many areas are different, so it's better not to change the original installation mode. The new outlet box is installed. Now I'm going to fill this hole. First, you need to get the measurement. Next, you need to get a piece of drywall to fill the hole. Hardware stores sell small drywall sheets. In my case, I have a small piece of drywall left over from other projects. I just simply measure the hole, then cut a new piece to fill. You can cut it directly with a utility knife. You don't have to cut it through. Just score the outline a few times, and then break it from the back. Since there isn't a stud behind, it's necessary to add a piece of a wooden board behind the wall as a support. Put the board inside the wall. Attach it with a screw nail on each side of the wall. Now fill the hole with the new drywall piece. Use a screw to secure it into the wooden board. Next, cover all the cracks with the drywall tape. Be sure to cover all four sides. After the tape is done, you can use your putty knife to apply joint compound to cover it. If your wall is smooth, after joint compound is fully dry, you can use a piece of sandpaper to sand it smooth then paint the surface. 
I don't have to do that part as my wall is textured. I also replaced the socket next to it. It's the same process as replacing the switch. The same type of outlets are all in standard sizes and specifications. Like these two here, which though decades apart, share basically the same internal structures. And another trick is, when replacing a switch or outlet, you can remove one wire from the old outlet, then immediately insert it into the same position of the new outlet, and one by one until you finish with all the wires. And that also will be no mistakes. If the exposed wire is not long enough, you need to use this electrician's small pliers to strip off a section of the insulation about three quarter inch in length. There are many small holes with the different sizes. Just put the wire into the hole with the same size, gently cut through the insulation, and then use the pliers to pull it off. The last thing is to install the outlet cover. I chose the screwless design. As there are many switches and outlets that need to be replaced in my house, I bought a box of 10 pack, and the price is a little cheaper. The cover has two layers. Use a flat screwdriver to gently separate them. There are actually screws inside. You just secure the upper and the lower screws into the holes on the metal sheet, then put the outer cover on and press it down. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.